This is part three of questions regarding atomic structure from the 2015 Chemistry Regents exams. So here we're going to check out 15 through 19. So let's check out 15. It says which ion in the ground state has the same electron configuration as an atom of argon in the ground state. Now argon is the symbol AR. If you forgot, there is reference table S that lists all the elements, the names, and the symbols, so you could check it out. So we want to play the matching game here. But before we do that, let's go to the periodic table and find argon, and we need to put down here the argon ground state electron configuration of 288 argon is an atom with an atomic number of 18, so that's 18 protons, and that's 18 electrons. So now what we have to do is we have to check out the different choices here. Well, aluminum with 3 plus. If we go to aluminum, aluminum is element 13. If it, we have an atom of aluminum, it has 3, I'm sorry, it has 13 electrons. But aluminum with a plus 3 charge would mean it would only have 10 electrons. So it is not going to have the same electron configuration as argon as 18. It doesn't have enough electrons. So I'm going to go ahead and just cross out aluminum. Same thing with oxygen. Oxygen, if I take a look at the periodic table, is element 8. Normally has 8 electrons. Well, even with oxygen gaining 2 for a minus 2 charge, it's only 10 electrons not enough. I move over. Choice three, I have potassium, but potassium as an ion. So potassium as an atom has 19 electrons, but as an ion is plus one, which means it's given away that one electron, and sure enough, it's normally 19, but 19 minus one is 18. That's my answer. Choice three, and let's just double check for fluorine. Fluorine is element nine, but if it gains an electron, it's going to have 10. Again, not enough to match with argon, so it's choice 3. I go to 16. It's asking which subatomic particles are paired with their charges. Well, again, facts you need to know. Electrons have a negative charge, protons positive, and neutrons, we say, are neutral. Okay, so I take a look, and the answer it has to be, based on that information, is choice two. We move on to 17 in the ground state, ground state, excuse me, an atom of which element has two valence electrons. Well, I can't do this without checking the periodic table. I need chromium, or are you chromium? I need copper, nickel, and selenium, or are you selenium? So, we're looking for two valence electrons. Well, when you go through, this is only one for chromium, nickel, that's my answer, it's got the two. Copper only has the one, and the selenium, I believe, is six. Yep, so the answer there has to be choice three. I go to 18. Atoms in a sample of an element are in the excited states. A bright line spectrum is produced when these atoms... Well, the bright line spectrum is going to be produced when the electrons go from the excited state back to the ground state, and they're going to emit energy, and that would be choice three. And finally, for 19, which statement describes a concept included in the wave mechanical model? That, that, that is our present-day model of the atom, and what we say is that electrons are found in orbitals obviously outside of the nucleus, that is choice four. Check out more videos, do more questions, work hard.